Hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're gonna have some fun to commemorate the recent opening of the new Beavis and Butthead movie. We're gonna do the original theme music from Beavis and Butthead on one guitar. It's really a lot of fun. I think you'll enjoy it. And I gotta tell you, back in the 90s, I used to watch that show. You know, MTV at first, they put it on late at night because uh, it was kind of over the top for back then, right? They were really pushing the envelope. And me and a buddy of mine especially I remember we used to watch a lot of them together we would hang out and put it on and we would just laugh hysterically it was really funny um, especially when they were just ripping on the music videos they would play a music video and just rip on it It was so funny it used to drive my ex-girlfriend crazy uh, she wasn't a big fan of Beavis and Butthead but man they were really funny and you know, they really did have an influence on pop culture back then. I mean, back then, everybody was doing the Beavis and Butthead imitation, right? So it was just silly fun. So let me play the whole piece for you. When it gets to the rhythm, um, I'm kind of, because there's a couple of guitars, I'm kind of combining it for one guitar, right? We're adding a little walking bass line too. So here, it'll hear sound like this. <laughs> lesson on how to make your lead guitar playing sound a little different maybe add some things you're not doing and whatnot I could really help you with that click on the link in the YouTube description box below I'll send you a kill, killer free video lesson with all kinds of tips and tricks on how to get some different sounds out of your guitar and I'll pair it with an ebook which is a great reference tool it has like 29 scales diagrammed out soloing strategy modal playing it's a great reference book you might use throughout your journey. So I'll tell you what, I'll send you the video lesson and the ebook for free. Just click on that link. Tackle this piece in a couple of sections. Let me play you the first section slow. And notice the fingering I'm using, because the fingering I'm gonna show you is gonna make it really easy to play this. Uh, first finger on that A note on the seventh fret of the D string. Then with your pinky, catch the 10th fret of the B string, catching that active. Then lay your third finger down and leave your pinky down though. Third finger, you're gonna catch that E note on the ninth fret of the G string. And then back to your first finger D note, seventh fret on the uh, D string. But you wanna let those notes bleed into each other. You don't wanna hear it like this. Right, you gotta let them ble bleed into each other. And then with your second finger, lift your third and fourth off and second finger, play that G note on the eighth fret of the B string. Then after that G note, go back again with your first finger and play that D note, kind of pivoting off of that on the seventh fret of the D string. The next three notes, those three are staccato, you're gonna kill them. Seventh fret G string, then a double stop, seventh fret G and B, and then second finger, eighth fret B string on the G note, third finger, uh, uh, ninth fret on the G string, and you get that double stop there. So it's... Okay, now leave these fingers down because what you're gonna do next with your first finger is two hits. You can do two down strokes if you want. On that, again, that A note on the D string seventh fret. And then you're gonna add your pinky to the A note, 10th fret on that B string. And you're gonna do three hits, down, down, up, okay? Because we're gonna do this part. And then it goes into the rhythm. On that double stop here, but again, we're leaving that first finger down. And then go back to the D string for one on that A note, on that uh, ninth, uh, seventh fret. And then you're gonna take off the pinky, and you're gonna play this double stop on the ninth and eighth fret. Okay. Then you're gonna take off the third finger and play the double stop on the seventh fret. Again, your fingers are down there already, so it's easy. Seventh fret on that G string, eighth fret on the B string. Then take off the second finger and you play the double stop like you did before on the seventh fret on the G and the B, right? So if you use this fingering, it makes it real easy. Here's that part slow. A string, third fret, 
A string with a band. And hey, if you could do me a big favor, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And then also ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when I have new lessons posted. Also leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know if you want to see more theme TV or movie theme music and what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So now the rhythm kind of kicks in and we're going to kind of combine two guitars for one. You're going to basically play off of this A5 chord at first, which is uh, just all you need is two notes, A string open, second fret on the D string, all right, and then it's going to switch to an E5 chord, and it's the same chord, just move it up a string each, so it's then low E string open and second fret on the A string. Now, when you're playing this rhythm, we're kind of, again, combining, I'm going to combine both guitars a little bit and also throw in a walking bass line, but it's going to have this real eighth note feel. All you're gonna do and check out the alternate picking we're doing on this or alternate strumming down up down up down up I have that in the tabs so a5 chord down up and a chuck and then up your next up will be uh, hitting the chord so down up chuck up and then a chuck We're gonna throw in this little walking bass line because it kind of sounds cool what the bass is doing. And you hit that low E with an upstroke, third fret, which is a G note with a down, and then an upstroke on the fourth fret of the low E string. So you get this so far slow. Okay, and then you repeat it a second time, but the next time you're gonna throw in this bend, third fret on the A string. It's gonna pull that down like we did in the intro. So the two parts together. And that bend up on the A string is an up pick and down on the bend. Get that going, right? And you do that, I believe it's four times, and then he goes to this part. All right, and that part, you go to that E fifth chord and you hit it twice, kind of palm muted. Then you're gonna go to this little double stop. Part of this E7 sharp nine chord, which you're gonna need next, but I just play it first and second fingers. A little double stop, which is sixth fret D, seventh fret G. So two hits on that E5. And then you're gonna come over here and play this. So one hit on the double stop, low E string. Two hits on the double stop, low E string. Then I form the whole E7 sharp nine chord. Two stabs, low E string, one more stab. After the E7 sharp nine, low E string, and then a third fret on the low E string bend. And that gets you back into the, the A5 chord. Here's that part on the E5 slow. So I'll do both parts together. I'll only stay on that A like twice before going to the E, but just know on the recording he does it four times. I'll do it twice for brevity. That's the Beavis and Butthead theme song. I hope you enjoy that. It's a really fun one to play. Like I said, just silly fun. And if you kind of like that Beavis and Butthead humor and if you like that show, another show that was really good that came out about 2003 or 2005, it was early 2000s, um, was a show called Frisky Dingo. It was only available for two seasons uh, on Adult Swim back then. Super funny, had this super villain named Killface in it who was just hysterical, but it's kind of similar kind of humor. I think the guys that wrote it 
are the same guys, or maybe one of the guys was also involved in Archer, which came out later. But check out the two seasons of Frisky Dingo. I think you really enjoy them, right? And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget to click on that link below in the YouTube description box to get my free video lesson and ebook on some cool different things you could add to your guitar soloing. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support over the years. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons and content coming. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care, see you in the next lesson.